What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? It's been a while since I did an updated video on uh, the home boxing gym. So I think this is going to be home boxing gym part four, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check. Either way, I'm going to try to give you a nice thorough breakdown. A uh, lot of uh, updates, upgrades. You know, a lot of new stuff since the very first original video I did on the Home Boxing Gym Part 1. So if you like that first one, the second one, or the third one, you're really going to like this one because there's a lot. Okay? So anyways, let's start. We're going to go ahead and start over here. Got the tire flips. You know, everybody knows the tire flips. It's a 150-pound tire. And uh, I have some guy, I have one kid who's 80 pounds, and he flips this tire for 30 minutes. So, you know, it's a lot smaller than what I would like, like a 300-pound tire, but 150 works good if you got enough of them. This guy over here is a softer compound tire, and it's uh, about 30 pounds heavier. It's 180 pounds on this tire, and I use this one for either sludge hammers and or tire pulls and with that softer compound you really feel it when it's dragging up against the ground or you're pulling at 180 pounds we got the cones there's millions of different types of exercise you can do on the cones suicide all kinds of stuff um, uh, foot ladders all types of different uh, drills you can do on the foot ladders you can do regular foot ladder for cardio or you could do slow it down and do more for form on your boxing and stuff Go into here. I added a double, double end uh, title bag. Um, this one where you could really hook on those, those uppercuts, get in there, those hooks and all that. But the double really sets it up versus the single uh, double end bag that we've had in here before in the past. But uh, you get a lot more. It basically just doubles the workouts with the double double end. And uh, you get a lot more in there with that. Same thing like my other bag. I split my bags and I stuff them. So there's probably like two pairs of pants at each one and a few shirts at each one to get them nice and stiff. So it gives them more of a, a harder stiff punch. Um, I added the uh, first aid kit. The, I added some lockers. So with the locker, I got a, a key locker for the keys there. I also got uh, the weight divisions for like the WBA, WBC, IBF. So you could look at your weight and figure out what you are in your weight class. Okay. Um, I've always had like stuff. I always have like more hand wraps for sale. Plenty of hand wraps. Uh, got more ankle weights added. More small weights for other exercises. Uh, so on and so forth. There's some loader stuff there. I got the, I added another foot step. So now that it raises up higher enough, we can go higher. Uh, so many different exercises you can get on the foot steps there. Um, we use it earlier today as a bench. we we'll utilize it with the, like when we're doing uh, dumbbell presses. You get the dumbbells and we use the step and we use that as our bench. We do some butterfly presses and whatnot. I added more beers over here. So you can get more of that shadow boxing working from one area of the mirror and then you can shadow box over to this side. I added more mirrors and then I, these are the, some of the original mirrors that I had over here. I added a new swivel. This swivel right here, pretty durable. It's a little bit quicker. It's a little bit more uh, getting adjusted to when you're hitting it. Whoa, my bad there. <laughs> when you're hitting it and then sometimes it wants to, it'll get kinked up so you got to get used to that and just keep the keep the rhythm going on that guy right there um, I added I got another uh, my business license going on over here with other permits and other licenses I had to acquire in order to do what I do here as a, a legal job I added the uh, the height measurement here so when people get weighed in and measured up. I got this uh, new bag here, 150 pound title MMA bag that one of my neighbors, a good friend of mine who had donated to me. And so I had another bag. 
Uh, we got some trophies up there for people when they come over to fight. Of course, we still got the the slip rope, the the the, the roll rope. You practice doing your your slips and your rolls on that guy in and out. Got the slip bag. So when you're practicing the the slips, you know, got the slip bag. So that guy, um, I've had that. Just kind of going over. I added some more lighting. Added a another bug zapper or a bug zapper because you know the summertime it was getting kind of vicious uh i got the one minute challenge board where everybody does one minute of each one of these exercises with two minutes break in between so every one minute you're giving me your best out of each one of them by the time you're done with these eight different exercises about an hour with a two minute break in between and it is brutal you are basically done for the day because you've done giving me your best on each one of these exercises I got other workouts, some scheduling. Um, I don't know if I can't remember if I had the no pain, no gain. Um, recently, I just opened it up back here. I added more mat on the bottom there. So there's more matting. I went ahead and matted all back underneath my weights. At first, I didn't have mat there because the weights were, you know, they were gonna kind of chew up the mat a little bit. And so I went ahead and put mat under there anyways and it's actually working better that that way so trial and error right um so i went ahead and matted the rest of this when i did that and opened it up back here at first this is all behind a curtain so i pushed that back so now we can get access to the uh stationary bicycle stationary elliptical it's another new one right here is the elliptical and this guy right here i like it because it goes outward not just traditional and also you could go out like so so um, i didn't want a big old bulky elliptical or a bicycle i needed something where it's light easy where i could just move around doesn't take up that much space and if i need to move it it's not super big and bulky i can move it uh, there's the, the other bag that i had hanging up previously before this one i added an extra uh reflex bag this one right here the springs on it it's a little bit quicker then this guy right here is a little bit slower, but each opponent is going to be different. You're going to have faster or slower opponents, so you got to get used to different rhythms. Um, I still have my my body armor here. Uh, got some mitts up there. Uh, the gentleman uh, gave me that for a birthday present, the No Gluts, No Glory, so I had to put that in there. Uh, I added this water bag. This, uh, I believe it's a 60-pound aqua bag. Good, great for hitting those uppercuts and those hooks. You can, you know, use it like a regular bag. Really good for those uppercuts, and that that water really gives it more of a realistic feel, like you're punching somebody's in the stomach. I added lockers. That's a the one that I mentioned with the uh, the locker key. So that's been a great addition. I get people who forget their stuff. They're coming from out of school, and they're like, "Oh, I forgot my mitts." Oh my my wraps and all that stuff at home i do have loaders but now I'm, I'm you know it's it's at space sitting there so now i can actually make a little uh profit off of that space by renting out a locker monthly uh so that's the locker i also have the award board so people that are doing awards getting awarded uh, there's some of their achievements up there I have people that weren't able to run a mile, so they get a mile whenever they hit their their mark for running a mile, and then they hit a five mile mark, so on and so forth, and also losing weight, so on and so forth. So each one of these is a different goals that people have reached, and uh, they get an award similar to this one for it, okay? And we got some growing guards, and I have women's growing guards. We got, I added a, a hand wrap roller. I've always had a hand wrap roller, but this one's a stationary one that people seem to love this one because they have it sitting right underneath the fan. So you can get the fan, turn it down towards you, and roll up your, your wraps as you're cooling down. Uh, gotta have a fire extinguisher because you never know. You never know. Spar bar, that's a, one of my favorite ones right there. Um, I added the spring-loaded uh, speed bag this one handles a lot different since it's got the spring on it when it comes back it springs towards you rather than just gravity on your traditional speed bag 
So this one right here with the spring load, it comes back a little bit quicker. So you gotta tighten up your fence, clinch it, and push it just a little bit harder to accommodate for that gravity and the spring tension coming back at you. So very, very cool on that. I uh, same, I, I've always had the, uh, if you watched in my other home uh, body uh, workout, home boxing videos, then you'll notice that I had uh, jump ropes and that stuff already. Um, I got weighted jump rope, regular jump rope. Um, I've added the uh, more medicine balls over the time. So I got a 10 pound, excuse me, 12 pounds soft, a 10 pounds hard, an eight pounds hard, an eight pounds soft, and a six pounds soft ball. I got the adjustable weight. It goes up to 52 pounds, breaks from five pounds all the way up to 52 and a half pounds. So a total of 105 pounds altogether when you're doing the dumbbell presses or whatever. Um, this guy, the sledgehammer, is that it goes with the 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 tire out there um, for sledgehammers on the tire. Of course, you can break down the weights, and I got the rest of the, some of the weights on the weight sled. The weight sled. I got the harness for that that goes straps around your back. And you drag it out there on the lawn or wherever. Do your circles, add weight. There's so many drills you can do with the weight sled. Um, I added some exercises here. So you got body weight workouts. If you ever get stale, stretching exercise with all the different muscle groups. Got this guy over here for the dumbbell workouts. And I have this so when I when I do shut the garage. And it's just all, you know, it's either you can see that up, up in there and it turns it into like this, everybody's own personal gym inside here. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. One, I got, oh, of course I got the battle rope. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I added a different scale because the digital scale wasn't working the way I would like. So I added a Salter professional scale and that one is accurate right there, man. Um, I added the air climber great for striking and punches i got some of my some of my loader equipment back here i'm not all the way done setting up there's some of my loader equipment and different i got uh exercise bands for your upper body lower body so i got resistance bands and all kinds of other exercises there got some kettlebells behind the curtain over here or some a back roller a bunch of other stuff i'm still I just opened it up back here, so I'm kind of in the middle of setting it up still. Uh, if you haven't seen my first video, I got the Stink Boss right back here. And this guy right here is what sanitizes and cleans all of the, uh, the headgear, gloves, all types of stuff. So I'll spray it with my Matticide 1 first. I'll spray it with my Matticide 1 to disinfect it and clean it. And then I'll take an additional step and I'll put it inside the Stink Boss. And that'll sanitize it using ozone technology um, one more time. It'll sanitize it. So that'll also get the inside of your glove or whatever else. And then I'll just wash loader hand wraps and whatnot. So still under construction. A uh, lot of new stuff. Uh, I also added... Oh, I added the, the floor decals right there. So that's the center of the mat right there. Uh, just, you know, a little extra razzle kind of gets everybody excited to want to work out and stuff. Just a little extra. And I also added a Pilates room. So I've been pretty busy. Um, you know, you got a massage table. Um, you could set it up or however you need it. Uh, I got three reformers because that fits this room perfectly inside here. Got the world map, so people can kind of see some of my paintings back there. Um, this is the world map. I just kind of haven't framed it yet, but eventually, yeah, I want to get that framed. Um, some more of my paintings down up in there. Anyways, so this is my little home gym setup, the home Pilates studio. I got it walled, so I separated it with these curtains here. So you can separate the rooms, and there's another setup over there. Uh, I've got the surveillance up in there, surveillance all the way around the house. Got a lot of stuff going on over here. Uh, something for people to put their shoes when they're in the middle of doing their Pilates and stuff. So anyways, 
And this is the next generation getting ready for 2022 home boxing gym. Uh, still growing. Got a, a lot more clients. Uh, very blessed and thankful for living my dream. Got all my got all my permits, certifications, licenses. I am all the way legit certified in boxing, advanced boxing, CPR. Got my business license. Got my seller's permit, zoning permits, everything. So everything's all the way legit. Uh, so yeah, this is the home box gym. Uh, again, I got my. My ring timer here, you can set it for 5 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 20 second rounds. Um, you know, the little sound bar that goes to the, the TV. And that's about it. This is the whole boxing gym set up. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, you liked it. Anything you'd like to see added, I might try to add it. You think that I'm missing or um, if, you, if you have any questions where I got some of this stuff, hit me up with the link in the below. And peace out, you guys.